Hey guys, it's Bang for Buck PC Gamer here. I recently see AMD's flagship Vega playing Doom at 4K. Um, and I have to say, I wasn't entirely fully impressed with it. And this is not me bashing AMD. Obviously, over 60 FPS at 4K is great, and that's what most of us want. But the reason I, I'm not impressed is because um, my GTX 1080 Founders Edition is pretty much doing the same thing. And this is AMD's pretty much best case scenario with um, asynchronous compute and the Vulkan API which which should give them quite a substantial lead now I'm going to quickly go through the settings I'm using um, these is the overclock settings which gives me around 2.25 gigahertz on my GTX 1080 Founders Edition Intel i7 5960X at 4.5 gigahertz I'm using 32 gigabytes of DDR4 at 2666 megahertz and drivers are 376.48 so those are my settings I'm going to show you um, the AMD demo um, video from their representative so you can have a look at what I'm going to be comparing it to My name is Gilbert, I'm a technical marketing specialist at AMD which means I get to show off cool demos and today's cool demo is the flagship Vega running at Doom at the ultra image quality preset I'm doing above 60 FPS right over here and I'm getting some totally smooth gameplay. I can make all the headshots I need to make, but I just love doing Berserker mode. Ooh, all this and more with Vega coming soon. Okay, now for the GTX 1080's turn. So I'm gonna quickly go through the settings. As you can see, native 4K. I'm using TSAA. The reason I am using that is because um, asynchronous compute does not work with SMAA. I'm not too sure about FXAA, so I'm assuming if AMD wanted to get the best out of their card, this is the anti-aliasing method they would have used. Field of views at 110, which I believe is just a little bit above um, the default. And um, as you heard the AMD representative um, Gilbert say, he used the Ultra preset, which I'm using here, and the Vulkan API. So I have mirrored the settings as best as I can. So he was using the arcane mode, and he was on this level and let's just see what kind of performance we're going to be getting Three, two, one, go. so if you look in the top right hand corner you can see an FPS counter and as you can see at the moment I'm getting high 80 FPS and it's dropped down into the 75's now which is still a little bit higher than what I was seeing from the AMD Vega please remember as well I am taking a slight performance hit from recording at 4K 60 FPS with 100 megabytes per second, so you need to understand that um, AMD's presentation there was no performance here at all. So the overclock I've done is pretty much to just nullify any performance drop. So this is pretty much what you'd be getting from a GTX 1080 in under normal um, circumstances. So as you can see, it's still remaining in a 70 frames per second range, and. Um, even jumping up to high 80s at some points as well so as you can see performance is very very similar which as I say if this is a pretty much best case scenario for AMD and it's still not blowing away the GTX 1080 which leads me to believe that these cards will trade blows um, in the future so I don't know what can I say for the people that think that the Vega is just gonna blow away the GTX 1080, I would say, you know, there's a good chance it won't. I think this will come down into competitive pricing from AMD. If they can sell it between 500 and 600 pounds in the UK, they will do very well. So, that was just my quick comparison. I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching.